contracts, all of that. Put that all into one. All the basically everything they can't keep their word. They just can't keep their word to make good on the deal that they, that they put out there. They, they, they're, they're invest, the, the things we invested in them are now paying back these dividends as it, as, as we, the promises that yeah, they yeah. the claims that they made to, 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 to give us back for investing in this place. Okay, go ahead, bro. When they shall see the smoke of her burning, stand afar off from the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, the great city Babylon, that mighty city, for one hour is thy judgment come. For in one hour is the judgment come. They're going to stand up for far and be like, Alas, alas, I'm tired of that place. But they're going to know, even the ones that were confederate, like you said, they're going to look back and be like, Dang, we kind of knew it was going to have to happen eventually. This place couldn't possibly go on forever. Everybody knows this place is, is primed to be destroyed. What, what worse place on the earth is there than America? What worse place? You guys call it freedoms? We call it wickedness, man. You call it uh, one nation under God or whatever you call it. We call it one nation in the eyes of God to be destroyed, man. You guys are at the end of the barrel, man, to be destroyed. And that's funny that we, that we get to say that standing in it. Yeah. Not, not sure that we'll be beamed up or escaped out of this place. But through our faith and our works, we prove that we have hope and an expectation for it. That, that, that's, all I, that was, that was much, that's all I wanted on this. We got to get Jeremiah 10. You're not getting out of here with, with believing that, um, and then get Luke, uh, get, get, get Matthew 1, get, get um, and 2, get um, Luke, I think it's 2. What was that, Galatians 4 that has a, a, a piece of that in there? No, I, don't, I don't need Galatians 4. I suppose I'm going. I need, um, I need, I need, um, because basically we're about to go into to Christmas how it wasn't. The birth of, of, of Yahweh Shai, man, who you annually called Jesus Christ, our Lord. All right? So you start with uh, what you got. Jeremiah 10. Yep. Jeremiah 10 and... Uh, wait, wait, wait. Wait on that. We're going to finish with this. Yeah, I want to I wrap up with that. Let's start with the actual birth because it's to the point where you guys don't even look at, um, at, the, at, at, at Christmas as the day of the Lord, as his birthday. And Some when, of you remember it, but that's yeah. not what you look at it as. And when before. did the Lord ever say... In the scriptures to celebrate your birthday. Right. The Lord gave us, and the thing about it is celebrating know. birthdays is you're singling yourself out. You're making yourself feel like you like prideful, like gratitude. Yeah. Every time we had a feast as a nation, it was all about the nation. And about the Mosai. About the and about yeah. the Mosai. Or the our Passover, uh, um, yeah. a feast of dedica uh, dedication. Yeah. Uh, um, What's the uh, going of the trumpets? It was all about the nation and glorifying the Most High. We're not yeah. supposed to celebrate our birthdays, have people glorify us. Yeah. We ain't nobody. We, 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 we didn't have no choice in that. Why do we get glory when we didn't have no choice? Yeah, exactly. I know a nigga woman that said, "Oh, this is my birth month. I'm about to celebrate the yeah. birth week, birth yeah. month." Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and the, uh, the cake goes back to uh, Babylon. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Um, what's the uh, number of wife? Uh, the queen of heaven. Semir yep. uh, Semiramis. Semiramis. Yeah, yeah. And she would bake the cakes, yeah. and, and that's where you know, yeah. and, the, and the candles represent something else. I forgot what it was, but it it's all—it's all, it's all some work. all wicked left hand sim 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 symbolism. The worship of other gods. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They probably was. Yeah. Thing I said. yeah, it was. Um, but we were talking about the birth of the Lord. Yeah. And I was going into how we're not supposed to celebrate birthdays. Yeah. And the two, really, the three occurrences in the scriptures where they mentioned birthdays. Well, it, was it was it was judgment. Judgment yeah. took place. The baker got killed yeah. in Egypt. Yeah. Uh, 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 John the Baptist was beheaded on on Herod's birthday. Okay. Uh, Job's children celebrated their birthdays, and they eventually got judged soon after because Job put up sacrifices for them to celebrate in their days. So that shows you three times in the scriptures. Even though it was a, a John the Baptist was a martyr, right. but there was a uh, it was a death. Yeah. It was nothing good yeah. comes from celebrating your birthday, glorifying yourself. We're supposed to be glorifying Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. Right. Give all that energy that you put into to, to plan it out yeah. to the Heavenly Father. Yeah, get that energy, get that money and yeah. energy too. Yeah. You want to talk about money? That's about that's about family. Hey, it wouldn't be no family if it wasn't for the most high. Give Matthew one. Let's start with Matthew. Yeah. Matthew one and eighteen. Yep. Now the birth of Yahweh was on the wise, 
Huh? When as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph. They were engaged to get married, go ahead. Before they came together. Before the feast, the wedding feast actually happened. The ceremony. The ceremony. To bring the families together. Yep. See what's found with the child. Why, why is that now? This is a mystery to a lot of you people. I'm going to give it to you in a nutshell. And there's scriptures that support it, but we're not going to go into it. Okay? The, her, the birth was on his wives before she was, uh, when they were, her, she was a spouse to Joseph or engaged to Joseph, she was found with child. Right? Before the wedding ceremony, they already had had sex and consummated the marriage. Yeah. Okay? That's what happened. Because it was on the wives because the, the father has to, uh, or the, the dowry. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the father of the, of the, the son, son, or the son, yeah, yeah, yeah. depending on the age, yeah, yeah. has to pay for that himself uh -huh. yep. to, to the father to, to, to take ownership over that daughter. And that's, the daughter and family yeah. have to put the wedding ceremony together. That's why they says, um, under uh, how was uh, born under the law. Under the law. That's yeah, what I was yeah. going to grab in, um, yeah, yeah. in, in Galatians, but don't worry yeah, about yeah, that. Kind of. but, but yeah, so everything happened under the law, made of man's seed. He's other seed of David, this just like every other no man other, on the planet. The other king had a, a, a sort beginning, of yeah, any other interest in life. Okay, every 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 person on the earth came through sex between a man and a woman, yeah. except for this new Esau shit where he artificially inseminating shit, man. Yeah. Okay, Clone. but it's still cloning yeah, motherfuckers clone, and yeah, That's some new shit, man. Okay, but every other one, particularly our Lord that we're talking about, came that way. Go ahead. Y'all found that in Luke 2? Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man yep. and not willing to make her a public example. He didn't want to make her a public example, right. putting it away. Because she was going to be put to death. Yeah, because because she, she would have been found a hearted in, in, in her father's house. But he was like, nah, we did it right. It wasn't that you played the harlot. We did it the right way. We just didn't wait, yeah, and, you know, wait for the for ceremony me. to do it the proper way was minded to put her away privately. Uh -huh. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying... Confirming the suspicions or, 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 or the righteous uh, uh, act that he had to, to preserve her for this. Joseph, Joseph, thou son of David, yep. fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, yep. for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. Hey, don't worry about it, the way that y'all came together. Yep. If y'all had the ceremony or not, How do you don't wait? be ashamed of that. Um, um, and she shall bring wait, forth wait, hold on. And, uh, uh, Don't be ashamed of that, because I, 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 you just birthed the, the, the Spirit of the Lord. And how do you conceive? Having sex. Yep. You know, it cuts the whole virgin birth, birth, birth shit, man. Right. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai. Because there was no, there was no um, monitor. Oh, look at the little pee pee down there. He's gonna have a boy. Well, got, got, it's not all of that no more. Ultrasound. ultrasound. It's none of that. It was, there was no way to know. Yeah. So when, so when, um, when the angel came to uh, uh, Rebecca, that was a modern uh, ancient uh, ultrasound. The angel mm -hmm. told her what was in the womb. Yeah. And then the, here again was an ancient ultrasound, mm -hmm. so to speak. You know. Yeah. Basically revealing what, what, what the, the gender and, and the type of spirit that's going to be in, in, in them babies. Right. For he shall save his people uh -huh. from their sins. And there was always a prophecy uh, from, the, from the beginning of the book that he would come. Okay, so we built up um, the whole thing about the specialness of, of, of our Lord. Go, uh, uh, keep going to the end of the chapter. That's 22. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken uh -huh. of the Lord by the prophet, saying, "Behold, a virgin shall be the child." That's what the book of Isaiah. God, and that word "virgin" don't mean uh, don't mean without sex. It means a young maiden. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I am. I am. I am. You got uh, you got uh, you got two Hebrew words that uh, goes into one English word, virgin. Yeah. So you got I am, and you got Bothwala. Yeah. Bothwala means untouched woman. Yeah. I alone means young woman. Yeah. Uh, and the word age. for that virgin was untouched. Yeah, because you go back to Isaiah 7. I mean, I mean, um, the, yeah, the word here, yeah, I mean, was a young woman because she was touched by Joseph, yeah. her her espoused husband. Our law don't talk about that, about if you if you have sex with your with your espoused husband, that's marriage. There's nothing against that written in, 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 in laws of, 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 uh, of rape or of, uh, of unlawful marriage or, or adultery. So they, they, they didn't commit adultery for that. Because some people don't want to believe in the birth, virgin birth, but then they call her an adulterer because Joseph didn't have sex. Yes, he did. 
Okay? So that's all on the, on the up and up. Go ahead and read through that. And, we'll and go shall, to the second chapter. shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel. Uh -huh. or, or God with us. Yeah, which being interpreted is God with us. Yeah, basically, I'm not, I'm not with Allah. Uh, it means uh, God with us, okay? Right. Meaning that the Most High Spirit is here with us on earth. That don't mean the Most High himself came down. He sent his, uh, uh, a man upon earth that he considers his son to share his spirit with the earth. He came in, in the likeness of, of, uh, um, uh, of sin and sinful flesh. He came down and, and was tempted with the same things that we were tempted with. So go to uh, the morning. Go with it. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, uh -huh. and took unto him his wife, and knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son. Yep. And he called his name Yahushai. Yep, and Yahushai, that's how our Lord was born. Okay? Now we're going to go to the second chapter, and it's going to break it down. Okay, what you want to say? Uh, um, start at the top. Okay. Uh, Matthew 2 at the top. Now when Yahushai was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, uh -huh. behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. And they have this wise men thing, and this is where they get that gift given. They try to tw twist you in with the gift given yeah. of Christmas. But that's not what this is truly about. And also, that's, oh, it's also the gift given goes to uh, back to Babylonian. Exactly. Also, with the uh, with the with the Nimrod, about to say. With Nimrod representing uh, the Christmas tree, and the father right and, and they put a gold ribbon around the tree. Yeah, and yeah. they put a gift under it. Huh? Yeah, yeah, and there was you know. She would, Semiramis would tell Tammuz to, to um, go to the, to go to the woods uh -huh. and get a uh, and put the tree, you know the gifts by the tree. Yeah, it symbolized their father, which was yeah. actually his brother and son and fucking weirdo shit, man. Because if you if you learn about uh, Nimrod, he killed his father, had sex with his mother to have um, Tammuz. Tammuz. You're not supposed to do that, and our laws are not supposed to do that. But you people don't know that's what you're celebrating, but that's what you're celebrating. His birthday was around that time. Okay? Yeah. That's that that that's when they decided to commemorate Nimrod's birthday in Babylon around that time period. And it was an oak tree in the woods that represented Nimrod. And uh that of course that was a pagan uh -huh. custom and then they they changed it to a uh a fir tree. A fir tree evergreen or whatever. Yep. So and it's all pagan. Or, you know, idolatry. Because he told us, don't worship nothing on earth or in heaven or in the waters. Only only me. Talking about the most high God. Yeah, that's, stone that's the first. And wood. Wood, wood. That you would rip, uh, yeah. worship wood and stone. Wood and stone. Okay, that's in our curses. Yeah. Okay, and he told us not to do that. All right? Let's do it. Saying, where is he that is born king of the Jews? Uh -huh. We have seen his star in the east yep. and are come to worship him. Yep. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem lived with him. Uh -huh. And when he had gathered all the because, chiefs. Because Herod was an Edomite that looked like a Jake, basically a, uh, uh, um, a tear, a tear yeah. but he was ruling over our people in, in our land. They, they, they put, it's like Obama. They planted yeah. somebody to represent our people in our land for us. Under the Roman Empire. Under the Roman Empire. Because, you know, the Caesar was in, in Rome, of yeah. course, yeah. just like they, and they would appoint, you know, this the one I'm putting someone over the uh, the, the Egyptian area, yep. uh, uh, the, the Israelites, mm -hmm. and all the other nations. You know, yep. just like that, that, that they control the world. Exactly. Because yep. um, and Herod was they, that plant, but it, but they made him. They made you believe yeah. that that he was one of us. So it was like we we're following one of our own people. But our Lord came on the scene now. Uh huh. So, so, and when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, uh -huh. he demanded of them where Yahweh Shai should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, uh -huh. And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, uh, art not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor yep. that shall rule my people Israel. I believe that was in uh, Isaiah also. In uh -huh. And Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. Yep. And how, long, how long ago did that chariot show up? Because that's what that star was. Go ahead. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. Yep. And when they had heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them. Uh -huh. Still it came and stood over where the young child was. Yep, there's a star showed him. Or the chariot showed them right where it was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. Uh -huh. 
-huh. And when they were coming to the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. Yep. And when the they, power and glory of the Lord was in the room. The Spirit was in the room, boy. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, and frankincense, and mirth. Uh -huh. And being warned of the Most High in a dream that they should not return to Herod, yeah. they departed into their own country. Because, because, because the Spirit, they were warned in the dream that the Spirit, uh, through the Spirit, the Herod was basically planted uh, as the king of, uh, of, of, of Judea to kill him. Because how do you know? Watch what, what about, Herod is about to do. And what? being warned of Yahweh in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. Uh -huh. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt. Uh -huh. and, why? Why? Because they were dark-skinned people down in Egypt, and our Lord and his parents were dark-skinned. Y'all go hide away in there, man, where he can't find you. Because he's trying to kill y'all, and it's going to say it. Right? When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night. Yeah. Oh, slack, slack. Uh, yeah. Flee into Egypt, yeah. and be there until I bring thee word, yeah. where Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. Because Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. Yeah. Okay? Because that's what he was planning in there to do that, to kill this guy, the king of the Jews. He knew the prophecy. Yeah. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt. Yep. And was there unto the death of Herod, yep. that it might be fulfilled which was spoken out of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt have I called my son. Yep. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, yep. was exceeding wroth, and sent forth, and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem, yep. and in all the coast thereof from two. Another birthday where th people was killed. Yep. Right? The Lord's birth, yeah. when it happened. And now you're going to keep sending people out in the middle of the winter? Hey, it's not like they had a heater or they had blanket, warm, super warm blankets with, 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 with isotoner gloves and shit. They didn't that's have all that. to make you mention that the Lord wasn't birthed in the wintertime. Yeah, that, that's the point. That's the point. You know? And then, and, uh, matter of fact, um, how much more of that? That was pretty much. Take a picture of the signs, not us. Please. Signs? You can take a picture of all the signs, but not us. Thank okay. you. I haven't seen you guys since I lived in Harlem. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. There's something down there. Uh, then Herod, when he saw... You got a church? We're, we're, we're all over the world. All over the world, yeah. Well, all I know you're all over the world, but I mean, you got, you got like... Yeah, even in Sin City. Even in Sin City, the word's got to go out. Right. You know? You got a podcast or something? You know? Yeah, we're YouTube. on YouTube, man. We're on YouTube. We can uh, watch look it up. Yeah, it's on... Um, uh, chapter? Is yeah, it, any of them. Chapter it's great, great Millstone. And then put any city and it'll probably pop up. All right. Thanks, All right. Guys. How good, man? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceeding wrath. Uh -huh. And sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem. He killed all the kids that were under two years old, man, because the Lord was under two years old. It took it because he knew how long the wise men were. Hey, y'all should be back by now. Okay, the winter came. The time came. It took you a while to find him. But he was at least a year. We had a whole year to find this guy. You ain't brought him back. I'm gonna put this together because he waited two years. They didn't. They weren't hopping on airplanes. No. They didn't they have chariots, you yeah. know, to get from to and fro. Horses and all yeah. that would freeze to death if you if you went out into the deep of the winter, as well as you would. Yeah. But yep. and in all the coasts they rub. And so, this is common sense stuff, man. That you can just put together. You're supposed to keep extrapolate from the word, but within reason, man. Don't be all trying to dig too deep. Just take what the, what the common sense will tell you. Of with what you're reading. And sometimes you're gonna to have to go back and look at, like you might wanna go back and look up what the um, what the weather's like, you know, the seasons are like in, back in that land at that time. Sometimes that, that may help you to understand that you wouldn't send out uh, somebody to go collect taxes. I think well, we're gonna get into that, uh, uh, to go collect taxes in the heat of the winter, you know, in the heat of the winter, in the dead winter time. Because the money ain't gonna make it back, okay? You won't, you won't, you won't give yourself the most time possible to get that, go out there, collect it, and then come back before it get to that death season, the winter, where, where things could happen and things get lost, it snowed in and blizzards and whatever else. Go ahead. And in all the coasts that run from two years old and under, according to the time which he had, you about the, no, you good, bro? According to the time which he had diligently acquired of the wise men, uh -huh. then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy the prophet, saying, you know, Jeremiah, uh huh. And Ramah was there a voice heard, lamentation and weeping, 
and gray morning, Rachel weeping for her children and would not be comfort uh, comforted yep. because hey, they're because not. Because that, that wrath of the Lord came down. Yeah. The, the, the wrath of the Lord, the, the wrath came down. Uh, so there was all that weeping in the morning because of, well, Herod went and slew everybody. It's crazy spirit because didn't, Pharaoh, didn't the Pharaoh kill? Um, yep. That's why Moses yep. ended up with uh, Pharaoh's daughter because they were killing uh, Israelite, uh, babies. Israelite babies, yep. two and under. Yep. Uh, that's, that's pretty much what I want. Let's get Luke. Luke chapter 2, verse 41. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast for, of the Passover. Because, because the Lord had already given them word that it was cool that they came back into the land. So they can dwell back in the Judea again. Go ahead, right? And when he was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. As the custom of the feast. Okay? Now if you look at it and you, you do your diligence, matter of fact, somebody blue letter that see if they tell you what feast that is. I think they do. Luke 2. Yeah, 2 and 41 or 42. It might say Pentecost. I'm not sure which one it is. Is it 42? Luke 2 and 42. 41 maybe. We got to give him 41. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. At the feast of the Passover. Okay. Keep reading. And when he was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. Or the custom of what feast? The, the Passover. So what time is the Passover? What season is the Passover? <laughs> okay. That gives you the clue. And we're not trying to prove what day or what month the Lord was born. We're telling you what season he was born in. That it's clearly not the winter time. Because yeah. under, even under the, the, the Jewish calendar that they hold, the Passover is not in the winter time. Nor is it when we, when we hold it according to the new moon. It's not in the time of, of, of the winter. Which is the point. So what, so what, does, that, what does that draw you back to? That draws you back to the, to the customs are full of BS, man, that, that you've been taught. So you're sort of so the so the society, I'm, I'm gonna call it, I say the government, but so society or those that are in rulership got you worshiping something else. We just gave you a, a few moments ago what it is. Go back to Nimrod and Babylonian customs. Yeah, and our Lord, he's he's the Passover lamb. Yep. Alright, he's the lamb. So our Lord was born during the Passover. That's right. And you got this other philosophy Christians throw out. He was born in the fall, you know. Stop. In October. You know, that's another philosophy they throw out. Where, where, the, where does it say the time of the uh, of the um, of the taxing? That's something. It's like two and four. Is it, is, it, is it the fourth verse in that same chapter? It's like two and four or five, something around there. You see, what they don't understand is this having Christmas. This goes right along how with Esau's um, also goes along with Esau's economics. Yep. Uh, you know, far as seasons ending, because I, I, officially winter begins At the last today. Quarter. Yeah, the last quarter. Yeah, so, it, you know, Esau's... Um, the fiscal, yeah, fiscal quarter for e the money, the financial. And Esau's, Esau's uh, seasons are based on holidays. Yep. Like, uh, Christmas kind of begins uh, winter time, along with uh, Halloween beginning of fall. Uh, 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 what was it Memorial Day? Beginning of summer. All these wicked holidays that Esau has, they're, they're beginning of the seasons. And also goes along with their uh, the fiscal years and things of that nature. Yeah. So, you know, this, this is this is all just all all these this holiday, mainly Christmas, is all rooted in wickedness. Yeah. Pretty much. You know, it's it's in the background, in, in, in the, the forefront you see Christmases and, and gifts and all that shit. But in the background, it, it's wicked. It seems innocent. Yep. But it's it's wicked ultimately in the background. Yep. This this stuff goes back to wicked, wicked filth like like uh, 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 what is that shit called? They used to celebrate Saturnalia, yep. um, and you know, and over in in Europe, and that was just a, nothing but a big freakism yep. origin. You know what I mean? Yep. And then this uh, I think it was this monk he came and he tried to uh, basically combine the Christian ideologies yep. 
in with these uh, pagans. So they can get Spread that. The love. So I love you guys. What, what, what is love according to the Bible? Love is me. Love okay. God. All right. Yeah. People lost, man. Um, um, yeah, read the top of that Luke, the second chapter of the Bible. Luke 2 and 1, And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Serenius was governor of Syria. Yeah, so this is a tax season. Basically tax season. Hey, I need taxes from all of you. Yeah. So go down in that land, even down there, Serenius, you, you run that region down there. What is, you tax. In, in, in America, what is considered, what time of the year is considered uh, tax day? And in April? It's April. April, yeah. And this is the modern Roman Empire. Yeah. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. Uh-huh. So I'm sorry, say that again, read that again, that verse. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. Yeah, keep going. I need you to keep reading that. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth uh -huh. to Judah, Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem. Yeah, they, didn't, they didn't go back and live in, in, uh, in Bethlehem when they came, when they, uh, after they yeah, came back yeah. from Egypt. They went all the way up to, um, to Nazareth. Yeah which is uh, right near Syria, but that whole region was controlled by the Syrians. That's why I mentioned that. Go ahead, bro. Because he was the, of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being uh -huh. great with child. Yep, they went up to be taxed with them. Okay, so that's tax season, the time that the Lord was born. Okay, which we all just said right now, that's spring. Now, 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 let's bring that out right quick. We, we, we Googled the, sat the satanic calendar for looking into December and what's going on around this time. So very sorry. Yeah, man. Saying, Watch where you going. Come on, man. It's you all right. It's all right. Just just pay attention to where you're going. Sorry. And we're, we're nice guys, but there's not nice guys out here. Yeah, no problem, bro. You're fine. No problem, bro. You're fine, man. No problem, bro. I'll watch that. Yeah. I'll watch that. I'll watch that. I'll watch that. Said December 22nd, the winter solstice. Yep. Uh, says feast day, they got orgies. We already brought up to you what goes on the winter solstice and why that was brought out. That was that other worship back back then. Right? Yeah, and then it says uh, December 24th, demon re re revels, revels, demon revels. Demon revelings. So basically, they're having parties to stir up demons. And this time, this time of year. Okay? Certain type. Because uh, what happens here uh, between now and New Year's Eve, right? Man. Now and New Year's Eve, right? Everybody's coming to town here to make these big, it's going to be a big ass city for, for the parties. And all types of orgies and, uh, and drinks and, and banqueting and all types of stuff is going to go on. Chambering. They're drawing up all kinds of demons. Right? Drawing up all kinds of demons with the demonic ass music. New Year's resolutions and all yeah. that wicked ass shit. All of that's going on. December 24th, Christmas Eve. Uh huh. It says blood sacrifices. Blood sacrifices. This is what you're. Like it, bro. This is what you're commemorating by commemorating these, these so-called holidays. It says uh, receive body parts yep. as Christmas gifts. Receiving body parts, you gonna be strong. You go a bicep. You know what I'm of saying? A, of a Jake. Of a Jake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it you a gotta Jake. be a Jake. Yeah. Might wanna see a flabby ass. Eat, 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 eat my arm. arm. Yeah. Uh, 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 Moabite arm or nothing. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> That, that's the last day I had on there? Yeah. Yeah, man, but, but, but that's enough. That's enough. We've shown you just now that that uh that his birth wasn't even in this season. So what does this place have you worshiping? It has you worshiping demons and shit, man. That's why you feast and you and you commemorate and do all this other stuff. Get Amos real quick. Amos um, five. Yeah, Amos five, and then somebody get Isaiah one, and then we're gonna get Jeremiah ten and close out. Amos I despise. Yep. Yep, 21, yeah. Amos 5 and, oh yeah, Khan. And 21, I hate, I despise your feast days. It's the most high God speaking to the prophet Amos. He hates, he, defies, he uh, despises our feast days. We're, we're, we're keeping the, the, the real uh, high holy days, the way we kept them were insincere. Yeah. And he hates them even now because his people don't even keep them. The, the, the ones that he appointed from Leviticus the 23rd chapter, they keep the ones of uh, of these of the world. Christmas, New Year's, 
you know, all the way around to Thanksgiving and so on and so forth, man, all in between. But, but why is it so special? Or why is it a coincidence, but there's no such thing as coincidence, that these, that these holidays are sitting up, lined up with these uh, satanic holidays? Why is that? They're lined right up with it, okay? You got it, bro. I, de I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell your solemn assemblies. I will not smell your solemn, your serious uh, 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 occasions that you come together either. Okay? Because what's going on in there? Things I told you not to eat is going on in there. Uh, people got the energies of these demons doing things on these days that the Heavenly Father don't like. Them niggas probably was sacrificing swine. Man, you know? it's Christmas ham, bro. Yeah. God, it was Christmas without ham and yams and... And then whatever else. And the greens got uh, a yeah. hog, uh, 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 a ham, pork, ham, ham, ham box in them and shit. Bacon, ooh, the green beans, whatever, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You black know? eye, black eye peas and yeah. shit. You got all that in all there. All that in there. And the Heavenly Father's not feeling it, man. Watch, watch. If I, I, I've been watching um, the news. Well, I get a news feed on my phone, right? Since November, which was Thanksgiving was in there, right? What has been going on? Wrong way crashes. On freeways, how do you go the wrong way on a freeway? It's like it's like seven of them since November, or more. It might be more, Judge but around that, two of them happened last night. On the freeway, somebody going the wrong way. There's women in there too, because there's a lot of you women that perpetuate uh, these holidays. Hey, you force it upon your family. Hey, there was there was just a yeah. fire down here by some apartments. Six people, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six people died. Yep. How many? Yeah. They're dying total. Yeah, and I, it might have been six kids or something. I forgot. I, I had it on. Hey, with, uh, hey that's 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 um that's judgment, man. Yeah. So, I hope the damn Christmas tree caught on fire, man. Yep. And yeah. that, that, we're gonna see that too. Christmas trees catching on fire and so on and so forth. Right. These house fires are usually started because Christmas lights. Y'all doing too much commemorating the, the wrong energies in the world. Christmas lights in your damn house. Yep. On the house and on the, in the bushes and shit. Hey, and them same houses have what? That that Caesar Borgia picture in their house is usually too. Okay? And, and it don't escape you tribes, man. These tribes are the main ones that's gonna get judgment from this, man. Yeah. Okay? And, and, and even worse. Uh, did you finish that one? Yeah, that was it. Uh, no, let me read the other part. Uh -huh. Verse 22. Though ye offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them. Yeah. Though you did you keep the custom of, of the tradition. Matter of fact, get Mark. Mark, uh, uh, I'll, I'll finish this. Yep. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beast. And hold that mark. Now get, now get Isaiah though. In between. You grab Isaiah while you grab the mark. Isaiah, uh, Isaiah 1. Oh, yeah. Get that part about the, the, the few days. It's like 11 or something like that. Somewhere around there. Yeah. Um, Isaiah 1 and 11. What purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices unto me, saith the Lord? Uh -huh. I am full of your burnt offerings of rams and the fats of fed beasts. Hey, a ram is not an easy animal to catch. You know what I mean? You know, he got horns, he's fast and he hits you hard and all of that. But you catch him, sacrificing especially unto the Heavenly Father, but in wickedness, man, he's tired of it. I'm tired of you were trying to act like you're repenting by, by making an atonement for, for all the, the wickedness that you've been doing. I'm tired of that because you continue to do wickedness and I can see that you're doing it um, premeditated, okay? And a lot of you will warn you off, Christmas is a wicked day and you guys will, 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 won't even care, man. You guys don't even care because oh, it ain't about that. You make excuses yeah, to keep yeah. that tradition. Go ahead and grab that and uh, you read the read, finish reading that and then you jump in the park. And I delight not in the blood of bullocks or, the, or of lambs uh -huh. or of he goats. Yep. So he don't want to. He don't want to deal with you the way that you keep his customs no more. That's why he turned his back completely on us in the Book of Hosea. Because even when we tried to do righteous, we still did it with a wicked twist, insincerely. Yep. Now go to uh, Mark. It's Mark seven and seven. You start at six. Mark. Mark seven and six. He answered and said unto them, What well, hath Isaiah prophesied to you hypocrites? Talk about uh, Isaiah. Yeah. Go ahead. As it is written, His people honoreth me with their lips. But their heart is far from me. Y'all gonna go to church on December 25th, yep. praising Jesus and the birth of Jesus and all of that. The only, that's just you that care about it. The rest of everybody thinking about Santa Claus yeah. and what gifts they bought, that he about to bring and put under the tree. Squeezing his fat ass up through the chimney. 
That's, and, that, and that all that shit go back to witchcraft hey, and the uh the wizard hat and all hey, that stuff. Bro. The magi. Yeah, Damn magi. Near, is near near the, the clan hat. The <laughs> red ass hat. Man. And what you don't know, I'm not gonna get too deep and I'll probably make a video through the week about it. But that whole image of the Lord, I mean of Santa Claus, is a is a mocking of, of the image of our Lord. Yeah. Okay? Go ahead, bro. Well, has he, well, well, has Isaiah prophesied? How be, how be it? How be it in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men? Teaching for doctrines the commandments that came out of somebody's mind and playing it off like God. And what did it say in uh, uh, 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter? He will sit to the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. You know, making people worship, just like the, um, Fa uh, not Pharaoh, but Caesar did. Uh, in, a time, in, in different times, he declares certain um, customs or certain laws, of course. That's what this man does. He makes you follow these traditions rather than follow the commandments of God. And you people prefer to have the, the king's uh, or, or, or the Caesar or the Pharaoh's uh, commandments rather than the precepts of God. Go ahead. But laying aside the commandment of the Most High, Behold the tradition of men. For laying aside the commandments, these to keep the high holy days are commandments. Leviticus the twenty third chapter, you're supposed to keep that with commandments. The brother read it earlier, said, um, teach, teach thy sons and thy sons' sons uh, uh, these, these statutes and commandments. You know? For lack of a better uh, I'm, I'm, I'm botching it. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy the fourth chapter. Fourth chapter. Yeah. Yep. Well, as the washing of pots and pans, it's like the washing of pots and cups. And many other such like things he do. Uh -huh. And he said unto them, Full well ye reject the commandment of the Most High, that ye may keep your own tradition. Full well ye reject the commandment of the Most High, so you can keep your own tradition. Yeah. So when we tell you, uh, Christmas, December 25th, is not even about the, uh, the, the Messiah, the Lord. You know, it's not even about him. Yeah. Uh, well, well, it's about the kids. That's the only time family can yeah. come together. They can only make a million excuses. But I bet you're gonna put a tree up, even if it's a small one, and wrap gifts and all this other stuff. So even if it's the Charlie Brown. Something. Yeah, the little twig tree right there. You're gonna bring something to push that. And Charlie Brown helped push Christmas. And we too. and we just open with that. And how our people, they just don't fear the Heavenly Father. Yeah. Because there's no judgment. If there was judgment from Yahweh Shai going out every year yeah. around Christmas time, which it does, yeah, it, 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 yeah, people ignore it. If, if a yeah. deaf angel was coming through the house yeah. and, 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 and slaughtering the whole family, yeah. and y'all knew it was from Yahweh Shai, y'all wouldn't even look at a Christmas tree. Let it happen to a hundred families. On yeah, Christmas. I bet you look at Christmas differently. Yep. I bet you look at the fear of Yahweh Shai outside differently. God. You know, I'm, and that's just a hundred. Yeah. Let alone if we wipe out states full of people, mm -hmm. you know? Just because just we know it's got to happen, it's supposed to happen. Yeah, it's supposed to. According to prophecy. Uh, there's a little more I want you to go past that. Let me jump down to um, uh, what verse you want. Jump down to uh, 13. This uh, Mark 7 and 13, uh -huh. making the word of the Most High of none effect. You're you. making the word of none effect. Through your tradition, through the tradition that you keep, there's yeah. no effect of it because because you're not because what's supposed to happen with these laws, such as commandments, as Israelites, as our people, we're supposed to keep them and then keep the people around you in line by keeping it. Uh -huh. They see the example that you set and they be like, oh, it is time for yeah, for yeah. Purim, not Christmas or whatever else going on, right? You're supposed to keep these things on and on and on. So and, and, and that's what the fringes are about. The border of blues, a reminder to keep the statutes, laws, and commandments, that, the covenant that we made with the Most High. Yeah. Okay. Fourteen. And um, you Jeremiah ten. We'll and when ye had called all the people unto him, he said unto you, Hearken unto me, every one of you, and understand. Uh -huh. There is nothing from without a man that entering into. So that, that, that was the point. You know, you you, you keep the the traditions of of, of of men rather than the commandments of the Most High. Now here, now here goes deeper into the commandment of, of this. Go ahead, bro. Jeremiah 10 and 1. Hear ye the word of the Lord. The tradition of this. Yep. Hear ye the word of the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord. So-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. Go ahead. Learn not the way of the heathen. Learn. This is a heathen. Babylonians was heathens, man. Why are you following after them? Go ahead. Today, Jeremiah was prophesying yeah, in the Jeremiah. Babylonian captivity. That's right. Learn at the way of the heathen and be not dismayed at the signs of the heaven. Yeah. 
that's talking about because the Babylonians were heavy in uh, star worship, yep. like uh, like you know they they worshiped the sun, yep. and that was uh, you know it's part of the heavens, the, the stars of the heavens. Yep. Anything in the sky. Yep. For the heathens are dismayed at them, for the custom of the people of, of the people are vain. For the customs of the people are empty. There's nothing to it. But our people were always uh, tempted uh, by those customs and what power it seemed to have. And what, and just the, what that was fun last. Just like you take go to the club. Take go to the club and if it's a new club they've never been to, man, it was kind of fun in there. Let's go back next week. Or if you accidentally show up, think if you're driving down the street and there's something going on. You're like, damn, what's that? That's dang. Let's get out and see what's going on. I was just smell that food. Let's hop out and see what's They done hopped into all of this. And now they're practicing the customs of the heathen. Because they didn't went and explored. The most high didn't tell you to do that. He said, keep his stuff. His, yeah. his commandments. Go ahead. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. This is, a, this is what they got. They used to have to do. Now they make uh, imitation trees. Go ahead. The work of the hands of the workmen with the, with the axe. They chop a tree down, okay, out the forest. That's, they really went in deep to explain to you that they go and chop trees down out the forest. All right, and then what do they do? They deck it with silver and gold. They put silver and gold, they decorate it, deck it. Deck the halls, you hearing this? Deck the halls, decorate it with silver and gold, go ahead. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. They, so it can stand up now, because if you cut a tree, this is one thing, it's gonna topple over, but they put the board on there, just like you see, the, 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 the tree stand, so it can stand up. They even had tree stand covers Chris, Christian now. Christian just say, I ain't talking about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah but Rebecca say something else. <laughs> that ain't what they're uh, talking yeah, about. That's the old school way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop, yeah. Stop, yeah. <laughs> yeah they got, Jake always got an excuse. That's, That's why I read that way. first. Yeah. Jake always got an excuse to, to continue in, 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 in wickedness. He said, but we ain't got to do it like that no more. You know, the tree we don't already, have to cut the tree no more. They already come with lights on. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't have to decorate. They come pre-decorated. Out the box. Yeah. Go ahead. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. Uh -huh. They are upright as palm trees, but speak not. Yep, they're still not alive. They're still not alive, but you're giving it power. And when you go deeper into it, I think that was it on that one. more. They must need. They must need yeah. to be be born because they cannot go. Yeah, that word "born" basically means you gotta take care of them. Yeah. yeah. You gotta carry them. Then you gotta decorate. You gotta maybe you gotta water them. Yeah, put water in it. You know? Yeah. How, how is that? How is that a, a, a supreme yeah. uh, being? It's something to work. You got. You gotta take care of them. Yeah. yeah. Lords take care. Take care of them. Uh, take care of, of us. us. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil, neither also neither also is it in them to do good. Yeah, these idols, these idols can't, they, they don't have no breath in them. They can't go, they can't move forward, they can't move back, they can't create anything. You know, they just they can't send down angels space. to give wisdom or nothing. They, you know? they're, they're good for nothing. And when you cut down the tree, it's, it's basically killed them. Yeah. yeah. You, know? you cut down, if you cut down the, um, what is it? Stop. The uh, trunk. Trunk is through. You cut the branches off. Yeah. You cut down the tr uh, the, the trunk. Tree trunk. Tree trunk it's through. Right. That tree trunk will sit there until it's, that. Yeah, yeah. It's up out the ground. It's not gonna grow no more. You can water it. It ain't gonna grow no more. Yeah. You ruined it. Hey, certain certain limbs of the tree. If you cut that, yeah. it won't grow back either. Certain after they reach a certain point. All right. Yeah. So so how is worshiping a tree uh, so good unto you? It's not. All right, but but what you are really doing is you're bowing down to the phallus symbol of Nimrod, okay? Because Nimrod, they cut Nimrod's penis up and erected it up, and they, now every obelisk that you see has that going on. <coughs> Goes back to that symbolism. But what they do with the tree, they give it gifts. And what do you have to do to get that gift from under the tree? You have to kneel before it, bow down before that guy. Yep. Okay, so you're bowing down to the demonic energies that go along with, with the day that is held on and the other uh, the customs that is held on. And a lot of you do it in ignorance, but once you know, you make excuse for it, man. The Most High is going to destroy you because of it. Okay? Got anything else? With that, 
Don't give all praise and glory to the Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Bashim, Kapadash. The bananas to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace, salutations, and blessings unto the elect. Shalak, Rayyum, Babylon, Shalak, Rayyum, Adawam, Shalak, Rayyum, Ayyayyum, Nawa. To the next, Shalom, Shalom.